Want to learn how you can make your own seamless patterns using Photoshop? Then keep on watching. Hey y'all, Victoria Shree here with Pretty Party and Crafty, and we're going to jump right into how you can make your own seamless patterns using Photoshop. If you don't have it, I do have a link in the description where you can get a free trial. And let's go ahead and get started. So once you have Photoshop open, at the top left, you want to click New File. You'll notice that a dialog box pops up, and I'm going to change my inches to pixels. And I'm going to set the dimensions for 2,000 pixels for the width and 2,000 pixels for the height. Everything else will remain the same. So resolution 300, color mode RGB, my background will be white, and I'm gonna click OK. Now for this tutorial, there are different ways that you can do patterns. If you have your own illustrations, if you know how to draw, you can use those. If you wanna use shapes, let's say you wanna have squares as your patterns or circles or stripes, it's totally up to you, you can use that. But for this tutorial, I'll be using pre-designed graphic elements. So if you have elements that you want to turn into a pattern, we're going to be doing that. So you can purchase them. You can download them from Google. It's totally up to you. But again, for this tutorial, I'll be using elements that are pre-designed. I'm going to go to my folder. And I find that this is the easiest way to bring in my images because I can select multiple images at once and bring them in one at a time. So to do this, all you have to do is hold down the control key or command key if you have a Mac and click the elements that you want to be part of the pattern. Okay, once you have everything selected, you'll just drag and drop it into the canvas. It's going to bring your images in one at a time. So once you have the first one, you'll just hit enter to place it. And you'll keep on hitting enter until you have all of the images on your canvas. Once you have all of the graphics on the canvas, you can go to the right side panel where you have your layers and select all of the graphics. So to do that, I'm just going to click on the first one hold down shift and scroll down to click on the last one. So I'm selecting everything except for the background and then I'm just going to click and drag the corner down to resize them all at the same time. At this point, what we're going to do is arrange our elements. So you can rotate them, you can make them smaller, you can duplicate them. You're just going to rearrange all of your elements until you get it to look the way that you want. All right, so at this point, I think everything looks good. And what we want to do now is we want to select all of our graphics and merge them together. So I'm just going to go to my layers panel. I want to select the very top one hold down shift, scroll down and select the very last one. We're going to right click and select merge layers. We want to make sure that we do that because the next step, we won't be able to do it if we don't merge the layers. So once you merge, you're going to go to the top menu where it says filter. You'll click other and you'll select offset. Now, at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to select half of what your canvas size is. So when we set up our canvas size, we set it up as 2000 by 2000 pixels. So our offset is going to be half of that, which is 1000 by 1000 pixels. So it's already set up for me but make sure if yours is different that it's 1,000 by 1,000 pixels. For the undefined areas, we can just leave that as is. We don't have to mess with anything else and hit OK. All right, once you do that, what I want you to do is look at the design. 
If you feel like there's too much empty space or white space, you can add more graphics at this time. So I think I'm gonna just add a few more things just to fill up the white areas that I see. At this point, we are ready to save this as a pattern. But before I do that, if you want your pattern to have a background, you a background color, for example, right now the background color is white, you can leave it as that. If you want it to have a different color, you can go to the bottom right and select create new fill and give it a background color like that. But I'm going to hit cancel because for me, I do not want it to have a background color and you'll see why in just a moment. So to have this have a transparent background, I'm going to um, hide the background layer. Okay, and now I'm ready to save this as a pattern. So I'm going to go to Edit, Define Pattern, and give it a name. And I'm going to change it to Bumblebee. And I'm going to select OK. Now, if you have your Patterns window open, you would have seen it populate right here. So if you don't have your Patterns window open, you can go to Window in the top menu and make sure that Patterns is checked and you will see it over here. Now at this time, we have our seamless pattern, but I wanna make sure that you can see it in action. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm gonna to go to File, New, and I'm gonna create a file as if I'm making a chip bag. So I'm gonna change pixels to inches and my dimensions will be 11 by 8.5. Everything else I'm gonna leave the same. Select OK. We have our new document. What I'm doing now is just drawing a rectangle in the center as if I were designing a chip bag. At this point, I want to bring in the pattern. So make sure you select the rectangle and you can go to your patterns up here if you have your patterns window open or you can click on your rectangle layer, go to effects and go to pattern overlay. Okay, and at this point, we can see our patterns that we've created. So if you go to pattern, you can click it and you can go through and see the patterns that you created. So my pattern is right here. And we have our pattern. So at this point, we can reduce the size. We can scale it down or up as needed. But we have our seamless pattern. Let me actually delete this for a second. Another way that you can do it is you can go to your bottom right and hit create new fill or adjustment. And we can select pattern here as well. And we'll change it to our pattern, which is right there. And there's our pattern as well. What else can we do? We can change the angle of it. So if we want it to be diagonal, we could do that. And that's it. That's how you make your seamless pattern. So as you notice, no matter how big you enlarge it or how small you make it, it doesn't show like big old squares where you can see where it's a new pattern. So let me give you an example. All right, so these black and white diagonal stripes are an example of a pattern that is not seamless. You can clearly see where the edges are and that it's a square that repeats. So this is not good for things that we would use a seamless pattern on. And hopefully you can see the importance of seamless patterns. You can use it for packaging tape. You can use it for wrapping paper, for backgrounds on your party favors. So hopefully you found this video very informative. Hopefully you learned something. I cannot wait to see what repeating patterns that you make. If you learned something new, be sure to subscribe, like, and follow for more. Later, y'all.